Okay, I thought last week's Marks and Recreation was hitting a little too close to home for me with its lesson, but holy cow! Once Upon a Zeppelin really hit the bullseye for me personally. I don't know how many people have been telling me for how many months that I needed to take a break from all the work I've been doing until I finally gave in and took a week off on a cruise with my lady alongside Tarek and his whole family, even managing to drag along Lightning Bliss and her husband, who also happens to have quite the similar issue with leaving work behind to focus on relaxing. And what happens when we all go on vacation together? We spend so much of our efforts making sure that everyone else is having a good time that we start neglecting our own well-being in the process. Needless to say, Twilight's Dilemma here almost felt like the show was whacking me over the head with its lesson. And... I think I really needed it. But I should probably focus more on the actual review. First off, Twilight's parents who have been around since season one have finally been given established personality traits. They feel much more like real characters rather than just ponies in the background. And seeing them interacting with Twilight, Shining Armor, Cadence, and Flurry Heart, it feels like a real family. I'd honestly love to see more of this. Second, the return of Iron Will completely out of nowhere. It's been 120 episodes since we've seen the mighty Minotaur, and this is actually a really good fit for him. He's quite a fair bit more competent than most other regular antagonists in the show thus far in that he's a businessman first and foremost. He offers a free vacation to Twilight's parents, probably guessing that if he had sent the contract to Twilight herself, she would have read it too thoroughly to be pulled in by it. He played up the cruise as a chance to spend time with the princesses, knowing full well that Twilight wouldn't want to disappoint anyone when put in the middle of these circumstances. And even if everything fell apart, he still had a backup plan and a no-refunds policy. Though, to be honest, you really could say that everyone did get what they wanted anyways. Third, we have Star Tracker a shy, socially awkward fanboy who had likely been dreaming about this moment for years. It is easy to understand why Twilight would feel uncomfortable given those awkward moments, and we can even sympathize when she's getting so frustrated by the situation she loses her temper over the fact that he keeps standing so close to her. Yet at the same time, You've got to admire that Twilight has such a deep well of patience when she recognizes the need to apologize, even when she was put into such trying circumstances. And you know the MLP writers put this character in here as a stand-in for some of the fans of the Brony community. What's more, they aren't trying to shun Star Tracker for his behaviors. But they aren't trying to excuse his behaviors either we do see why Twilight was getting overwhelmed in the first place. And I appreciate that MLP is showing both perspectives here, as it is a far more mature way to handle fans of the show. And then we have the lesson. I honestly don't know how much this is going to affect the average fan of the show, but... Wow. This was the equivalent of a punch in the gut for me. I do want to emphasize just how impressed I am that MLP is tackling a far more mature topic that you really don't see in a lot of media these days. What's more, there wasn't a single moment where Twilight's family was taking advantage of her sacrifices, or failing to show just how grateful they were for this wonderful opportunity to vacation together. And that's what makes Twilight's decisions all the more admirable and even understandable. But just as this episode shows, there are lines that need to be drawn. It is not requisite that a man should run faster than he has strength. It is expedient that he should be diligent, but all things must be done in order. It's been a long time since I've been reminded of those words, but... I very much appreciate that MLP has brought them to my mind once more. 
I admit I did chuckle more than a few times at some of the more awkward moments. I think Shining Armor's failings are more of a running gag at this point, but it's still entertaining. And as I've stated before, Twilight's family is feeling more real than ever now that her parents have established personalities. So, kudos to the MLP staff on a very solid entry in the series. I may be rating this episode higher than most due to the lesson hitting so much closer to home for me personally, but I really do think it stands up pretty well even without that aspect. What do you think? What was your reaction to Twilight's parents and the barrage of princess fans? Were you surprised at the return of the mighty Iron Will? What are you doing here? And I think you two have never actually met, so what gives there? I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.